Hey, Albert. I was looking over the invitation to your brother's wedding. There isn't anything about the dress code. Oh, that's weird. I know that they picked out a color theme and asked us to be matching for the pictures. I'll give Zach a call after work to see what they want us to wear. You're working overtime right now. I can handle it. No, it's best that I do it. They've been acting a bit strange lately. What do you mean they've been acting strange? Well, there has been more chatter in the family group. And some of the things that my mom and brother have said, well, it made me uncomfortable. Really? I hadn't seen any increase in discussion. Admittedly, I thought it was weird since the wedding is less than a month away. Yeah, there definitely has been a lot more chatter. I get pinged at nearly all hours of the day. Wait, it's a new chat room, and they didn't add you? Hmm. And it won't let me add you. I'll call my brother when I get off work. This is just too weird. No worries, Albert. I'll give him a call and see what's going on. Maybe they just wanted to keep it within the immediate family for now. I won't mention that you told me about the chat room. Let's see what he says. Thanks, Darla. I appreciate you looking into this for me. I trust you to handle it with care. Let me know if he gives you any trouble or if there's any weird explanation behind it. You got it, Albert. I'll be sure to keep you in the loop and let you know if anything suspicious comes up. Family dynamics can be strange sometimes, but we'll figure it out. Don't stress too much about it. Thanks, darling. Your support means a lot to me. I'm glad I have you to rely on. Anyway, I should get back to work. Have a great day. And remember, I love you. Aw, oh, I love you too, Albert. Go crush it at work and don't let this chat room mystery distract you too much. We'll get to the bottom of it. Take care and catch up with you later. Will do. Thanks again, Darla. Talk to you soon. Hey, Chris. I was trying to prepare for the wedding, but I don't see what the color scheme is. All you need to know is that we're registered with Blackwells. What do you mean? Albert and I are coming to the wedding. We want to make sure we have the right clothes for the wedding. You guys don't need to worry about that. I thought you guys wanted the entire family matching. I told you that you don't need to worry about it. We're taking care of all that stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. We'll make sure to get you a fantastic gift. Albert already has something in mind. Huh? I trust my brother to get something nice. Yeah, he's an amazing gift giver. I know. He's been my brother a lot longer than he's been your husband. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'll let you go. I just wanted to make sure we didn't ruin your wedding pictures. Don't worry. We won't let you mess things up. Okay, well, have a great day. I will as soon as you stop texting me. I'm home. I can hear. Come on inside. Why are you still in the garage? I'm just really tired. Well, I have a special treat ready for you. Really? So you're bribing me to come inside, huh? Well, I figured it would be a good way to ease you into the conversation. Um, that sounds ominous. I texted your brother. You were right. There is something weird happening. What happened? He said that we don't need to worry about getting clothing, just the gifts. But I told him that we were coming to the wedding. According to your brother, they're going to provide the clothing or something like that. Really? That doesn't sound right at all. I know that some people buy wedding outfits for the bridal party. We aren't at the party, though. We're just family. And I know Chris doesn't have that kind of money. I don't know what to tell you. When you come in, I can show you the text. Also, he had a really short temper. He's never been rude like that before. I've been noticing that in the chat room, too. He's probably feeling really tense because of the wedding. It's getting close, so I'll bet he and Kate are feeling the pressure. I guess. Let me see what he had to say first. If he's being rude to you, I'm going to let him know that's not all right. It's fine. As long as we get to sit next to each other during the ceremony and reception, I can handle a bit of wedding rudeness. This is why we kept ours so simple. I know. Your family wasn't pleased with that. I know. That's probably why he didn't ask me to be one of his groomsmen. I'm sorry about that. If I had known they would be this upset, I would have had a bigger wedding. 
Our families love drama. They shouldn't be surprised that we kept it to just friends. I know, but think about how they felt. How would you feel if your brother decided he didn't invite you? It's really different since his fiance wants that big wedding. It's not like what we did. Yeah, but you understand what I mean. I do, but he's in the situation because he chose someone who wanted a big wedding. Yeah, weddings can be a tricky thing. It's important to find a balance between what both partners want. But hey, instead of going back and forth with texts, why don't you come inside? We can sit down, relax, and have a proper conversation about it. Ugh, but I'm so tired. I've had a long day and the thought of having to walk all the way inside just drains me even more. <laughs> I get it, Albert. But trust me, it'll be worth it. Plus, I have a special treat waiting for you inside. Something that'll give you a little extra energy boost. Really? What kind of a treat are we talking about here? Oh, it's a surprise. But let's just say it involves your favorite snacks and maybe a cold drink or two. You won't be disappointed. All right, you've convinced me. I'll make the trek inside. But fair warning, I might complain a bit. It's been one of those days. Complain away, my dear husband. I'm all ears. Sometimes venting can be therapeutic, and I'm here to listen. And hey, once you're done with dinner, how about I give you a nice relaxing massage? It'll be the perfect way to unwind. Ooh, now we're talking. A special treat followed by a massage? You really know how to spoil a guy. I'm looking forward to it. See you in a couple of minutes. You deserve to be spoiled, Albert. Take your time, and I'll be here patiently waiting. See you soon, and get ready to relax and recharge. I got a call from my brother earlier. He's asked me to be one of his groomsmen. Really? That will... I mean, that's great for you. Do you want to? Yeah, I would love to. You know what that means, though. We won't be sitting together during the ceremony. If you prefer that I decline, I can let him know. You join them. You'll get to go to the fun stuff. I'm happy for you. Are you sure? Yeah. We'll still be able to spend time together at the reception. Okay. As long as you're sure. I think it will be a great chance to make up for some lost time. That's what I hope too. Thanks, love. You're the best. There's no reason not to get between you and your family. You just have fun. I'll be fine during the ceremony. I'll make sure to stare at you lovingly. Maybe we can even have some kind of ceremony with our family. That way we can make up a bit for our families. We'll see how it goes with your brother's wedding. If your family has mellowed out a bit, we can talk about a ceremony. It has been almost five years since we married, so we can celebrate it with family. Yeah. First, we'll see how my family does. Then your family has the reunion coming up. If they've all learned to dial it back, a ceremony could be a lot of fun. I admit, it might be nice to get that experience with my family, but only if it is mostly drama-free. I know. And that's always been a huge ask for our families. It sure has. Okay, well, I need to get back to work. Stay safe. I will. And when you get home, I'll have a little something for you. I can't wait. Hey, Darla. It's Kate. I just wanted to make sure you had the address to the reception. Yes, I do, but I figured that Albert and I would drive there after the ceremony. Um, no. You don't exactly meet the right family aesthetic. What? I don't want your appearance to ruin my mood during the ceremony. What do you mean? I mean, I've spent a lot of time planning my perfect day. I don't need you and your sour face ruining it. Also, I don't want kids around. Since so many members of our families have kids, we had to come up with another plan. Another plan? Yeah. Chris didn't tell me you were so slow. No wonder you work with kids. They're probably more on your brain level. Hmm. You realize that we're about to be related, right? Don't remind me. It's almost enough to ruin the whole thing. Anyway, stop interrupting me. I'm telling you what your role will be in my wedding. I have a role? 
Stop texting. You're going to go to the building next to the reception. People are going to drop their kids off there and you're going to watch them. The wedding ceremony starts at noon. So a few of my bridesmaids will need to drop off their kids by 10. I want to make sure that they're properly prepared for the ceremony. So you need to be there around 9.30. But I won't be getting there until late the night before. Well, then you had better figure something out. Don't go adding more work for me just because you didn't plan properly. Plan? I had no idea you guys wanted me to be a babysitter. I was planning to watch the wedding and attend the reception. I don't know why we specifically didn't tell you anything about what to wear. Because you were never supposed to be there. Learn to take a hint, Darla. I talked to Zach about it, and he said you guys were taking care of the family clothing so that we all match. Ew! You aren't my family. You're too tall and flat to be attractive. And Chris knew that you won't be there. He probably didn't want you ruining his plans of asking his brother to be one of his groomsmen. I mean, Albert is the most attractive man in the family. Of course we want him in the pictures. He'll make them all look so much better. Um, does Albert know what you guys are planning? Of course he knew. No one would think you were attractive enough to be in the wedding photos. I'm in our wedding pictures. Face it, he only married you for your money. I'm not going to benefit from it. So there's no reason for me to kiss your butt. I have to get back to work. I'm going to talk to Albert when I get home. Don't you dare mess up my wedding with your selfishness. Albert, did you know what your brother and his fiance were planning? Do you mean about the bachelor's party? Because I'm not going to participate when the strippers arrive. What? No, that's not what I meant. They want me to babysit all of the kids in the family. They don't want kids at the wedding ceremony or reception, so they reserved a place for them. And they want me to spend all day watching everyone's kids. That can't be right. You must not have understood what they wanted. Chris told me they had a surprise for me at the wedding. Yeah, I bet it's another woman. What? Why would you think that? Because Kate was saying that I'm not attractive enough to be in the pictures. That's why they want me out of the way taking care of the kids. There's no way anyone would say that about you. Here are the text messages. Why that cow? There's no way I'm gonna let them do that to you. First, you're far more beautiful than she is. Second, they have no right to expect you to pay to travel to the city, then babysit for free. When I read that, I nearly cried. Don't cry, honey. I'll fix this. I don't want to cause a fight between you and your family. You're not the one causing the fight, Darla. They both are. Please, don't go ruining their big day. I'm not going to do anything that they don't deserve. I'll be fine. They won't get another chance to have a wedding. I'll give them a choice, so it'll be on them how things turn out. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of this. No one treats my beautiful wife like that. dare you try to ruin my wedding? Kate? You know exactly who this is. And you are trying to ruin everything. I always knew you were a horrible, stuck-up witch. I didn't realize just how horrible and selfish you were. I don't know what you're talking about. What happened? Oh, you knew that your husband was going to give us an ultimatum. You were too much of a coward to do it yourself. Now you're creating a huge rift in the family. I hope you're happy with what you've done. I have no idea what you're talking about. He said either we had to pay you back for the trip, your room, and a whole day of babysitting, or he was going to drop out of the wedding. He what? Don't act innocent. This whole thing was your idea. My sweet little Albert would never do this to me. Your sweet little Sean? Yes. I've been in love with him since I was a child, but you went and stole him with your money. I'm marrying his brother because he's almost as good. What is wrong with you? Just back off and do what you're told. I won't let you ruin my wedding. I'm sorry, Kate, but this was not my idea, but I'm not going to just let it go either. Are you threatening me? No, I'm telling you that I'm not going to let you do this to Chris. He may be a bit immature, but he doesn't deserve to be in a marriage with a woman who wants his brother. You will not tell him. No, I won't. You had better be here ready to babysit. Don't bring your ugly face around my wedding. 
Got it? Darla, answer me. I know that it's not quite time for your break, but I have something important to show you. Okay, send it along. I'll look at it when I have a chance. Okay, but I'm going to warn you, don't look until you're on break and somewhere kind of tucked away. That doesn't sound good. It's not. Put your phone away, then make sure you're somewhere alone because you're going to get angry. Is it about the wedding? Yes. Okay, I got it. And Darla? Yeah? I'm really sorry you've been dragged into the family drama. I didn't want you to be. It's not your fault. This is why we avoid our families. Any interaction with them just blows up into so much stress. I know. I'm thinking of no ceremony with our families. Yeah, clearly they're not mellowed out. If anything, they seem to be getting worse. But we could plan to have a second honeymoon. Oh, now there's an idea. Don't let my family get you down. I love you. I won't. I love you too. How dare you ruin my wedding? I will make you pay for this. You won't get away with what you've done. Oh, hi, Kate. Good to hear from you. Don't give me that. You know what you did. Chris is saying he won't marry me now. That he doesn't ever want to see me again. All because you told him how I felt about Albert. You had no business doing that. I didn't tell Chris. He had our text messages. I saw them. I told Albert, and he must have told Chris. It was nice of you to include some of your sexual fantasies about my husband after we stopped texting. That made it clear that you weren't after Chris. You should have just left it alone. When you die, I could have divorced Chris and married Albert. Then we would have had all your money. So you just had to go and ruin it. When I die? What are you even talking about? I'm not going to tell you anything else because I know I can't trust you. I'll make you pay for this. I would say I'm sorry about the wedding, but that would be a lie. Good luck, Kate. You're going to need it. I don't need luck. I know how to handle you. Instead of getting married, I'm going to get even. Just you wait. Are you okay? When I got to my family's place, my mom was acting really weird. I checked my notifications and it said that there was a bomb at the hotel. It was just a bomb scare. The whole thing was a setup to get me out of my room. What do you mean? Kate and some guy I've never seen were waiting outside of my room. They tried to abduct me. I'm so glad that my parents had me learn hand-to-hand -hand combat when I put the guy on the floor. Kate fled. You can't be serious. I'm coming back right now. Thanks. I'm so shaken up, but the cops have taken over. Kate slipped out, but they're tracking her. I can't believe she would try that. And I think my mother knew. I'm so... I'm never going to bring you anywhere close to my family ever again. Yeah, I'm going to get my stuff and head somewhere else. Please wait for me. I'll meet you in the lobby and I'll take you somewhere else. Right now, I'm just so shaken. I don't want to be here. I understand that you're feeling overwhelmed, but I genuinely don't think you're in a state to drive right now. It's not safe. I appreciate your concern, Albert. You're right, driving in this emotional state wouldn't be the best idea. I could probably get a lift from a friend, or maybe there's a cafe nearby where I can gather my thoughts and figure things out. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Just leave our stuff here for now, and I'll take care of it later. The most important thing is for you to get somewhere safe and comfortable where you can collect yourself. Thank you, Albert. Your support means a lot to me at this moment. I just want to leave this place and never come back. It's overwhelming being here right now. I completely understand, Darla. You don't have to come back ever again if you don't want to. Your emotional well-being is the priority, and if being in this place is causing you distress, then it's best to distance yourself from it. I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders just hearing you say that, Albert. It's reassuring to know that I have your support, and that I can make decisions that prioritize my own happiness and peace of mind. Absolutely, Darla. I'll always be here for you, supporting your decisions and helping you through tough times. You deserve to be in a space where you feel safe and at peace. Take the time you need to heal and find that place. Thank you, Albert. It's comforting to have someone like you by my side. I'll find my way to a cafe or somewhere where I can gather my thoughts. I'll keep you updated on how I'm doing. Please do, Darla.
And remember, I'm just a phone call away if you need anything. Take care of yourself and know that I'm here for you always. I will, Albert. Thank you again for being there for me. It means the world. Kate was on the run for two weeks because Albert's mother helped her. His mother always wanted Albert to marry Kate and only accepted me because she wanted my family's wealth. Given how much information Kate had texted me and the fact that she and Albert's mother texted their plans, neither of them stood a chance at getting away with anything. Albert's mom was sent to prison for three years, mostly because she immediately turned on Kate once the woman was caught. Their relationship is no longer the rosy love fest it used to be. When she got out, no one in the family wanted anything to do with her since she had spent most of her money on getting a good lawyer. She had to go back to work in a different town. Kate faced state charges for assault and battery and conspiracy to commit murder. She would have to serve 10 years before she would be eligible for parole. Then she would have to serve another 15 years on federal charges. By the time she gets out, she's going to be a very different person. Apparently, Chris didn't know because he was honestly upset about what Kate had told me. He had spent a lot of his life in Albert's shadow. After things fell apart, he left town, refusing to talk to anyone in his family. A year later, he got contact with Albert and they started slowly building up a relationship. Chris was taught to resent his brother, so he had to learn that Albert wasn't the person Chris thought he was. I think they'll be good eventually, especially without their mother trying to pit them against each other. Albert and I did take a second honeymoon and it was fantastic. I ended up getting pregnant. So now we're expecting our first child and we will make sure that our growing family is the kind of loving place where our children can thrive.